government of Omabe, and therefore. Former Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor Jacob Kaimeni, has called on the government to consider incentivizing private school developers in their quest to develop schools and learning institutions. Speaking at Embakasi during the official unveiling of Tasia Junior School, Kaimeni further condemned the recent trends of parents storming schools and ejecting principals, terming their actions irresponsible and unacceptable. Natasha School Director Joseph Kinua said the decision to build a fully-fledged stand-alone junior school came as a result of parents and residents who felt despite having many children, the area has very few public schools offering junior secondary education. The junior school reluctantly. Because I was telling Mama, we are getting old. Let us now consolidate whatever we have. The primary school, um, from that side to this side, let's consolidate that. But there was pressure on us. The parents put pressure on us that they don't want their students to be here up to class six and then they go elsewhere. We must incentivize private schools providers so that they can do better. They can even set example because it's a live example of a CBC implemented in a very cost effective manner. We keep on talking about benchmarking. I want to challenge other schools nearby to come and see benchmarking here of CBC implementation curriculum. It is true you find uh, certain schools in the country may not be prepared to fully implement CBC. But the challenge I want to, to pose here is for our education managers, especially school, school heads, to use man, the little money that they get productively. And I'll give you an example. If you go to the school, uh, school equipment program, it is possible to have a mobile lab, science lab, which is very cheap, it's not expensive, but some people, because of the past mentality, they are always thinking of big labs, why they stone and mortar. No.